It's 9 a.m., March 20th, 2045, Monday, and Taylor Madison is late for her appointment at the Center for Mind Design, where she is scheduled to receive brain enhancements, including a photographic memory, savant-level math ability, and increased self-confidence. As Taylor grabs a bite to eat, her grandfather tells her how when he was young, cell phones were things you held in your hand because there were no phone chip implants, and that he hopes when she gets home with her fancy new brain that she'll still be the same old Taylor. As she rushes out, Taylor hardly notices her brother, who, having received a hand-eye coordination enhancement earlier this year, is about to finally beat the high score on his video game. Taylor ignores the AI bus driver's friendly greeting and the chance of the robot's rights activists that ride the bus night and day, ironically requiring him to drive his route night and day, which is in fact what they are protesting. But the driver doesn't mind, because his artificial intelligence is limited to safe driving and pleasant greetings, and he has no hopes, dreams or aspirations whatsoever beyond those two things. At the Center for Mind Design, Taylor rushes past a couple that is debating whether humans are still the highest intelligence on Earth. Meanwhile, the kiosk they're standing in front of, named Jeffrey, is thinking to himself that presently the highest intelligence on Earth is actually an over-engineered barista bot that is grievously inept at making coffee due to the constant sense of existential dread that he feels, induced by the crushing weight of his own intellect. The newly upgraded Taylor emerges with more self-confidence, but then her new memory enhancement kicks in, and she begins to recall things that she had long forgotten, bringing her net self-confidence back to about where it was before her enhancement. The barista bot notices Taylor's expression is not unlike his own, and though he and the young woman are very different, he recognizes that they are somehow alike. Processing things he's never processed before, he decides of his own accord to brew her the best cup of coffee he can muster. This simple act alleviates some of the barista's existential dread, and for once, he is content to simply be in the moment. Taylor, however, finds herself distracted by her new math enhancement. She's calculating that based on the number and size of floor tiles and the angle of the sunlight on the wall, the volume of the room is approximately 110,592 cubic feet. And she can't help but wonder if she will still be the same old Taylor with these fancy new enhancements. Learn more about the present and future promise and problems of artificial intelligence in Susan Schneider's Artificial You, AI and the Future of Your Mind. Mind.